Hello guys, myself Amrita. Welcome back to our channel Technosage. So in today's video, we are going to discuss problem number 125 that is valid palindrome. So let's get started. Let's first understand the problem. A phrase is a palindrome if after converting all uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all non-alphanumeric characters, it reads the same forward and backward. So basically it states that any particular phrase is a palindrome if it reads same as forward and backward after converting all the uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all the non-alphanumeric characters. Alphanumeric characters means letters and numbers. So given a string S return true if it is palindrome or false otherwise. So basically we need to check whether this particular phrase given in the input string is a palindrome. If it is a palindrome, we need to return true. Otherwise, we need to return false. So here in example, you can see input string is a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. If after removing all these spaces, you can see if you read it from the backward, it is again a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. It is reading same from forward and backward. So that is why it is a palindrome string. Now let's understand how we are going to solve this problem. So let's take the same input string that is a man, a plan, a canal, Panama. So the first step to solve this problem is that we need to remove all the spaces and the non-alphanumeric characters. So after removing everything, it will become a man, a plan, a canal and Panama. We also have to convert this particular string to the lowercase letters. Now, there are two ways we can solve this problem. One is that we reverse the whole string and then check whether the reversed string is equal to original string or not. But there is another way to solve this problem. Let's understand that. So if any particular string is reading same as forward and backward, that means all the characters on the left side and on the right side would be same. For example, here you can see the first character would be same as the last character. Second character would be same as the second last character. Third character would be same as the third last character up to so on. So if all the characters on the left side and all the characters from the right side are same, then we can say that it is a valid palindrome. So how we are going to check that? We can set two pointers. One is on the left side and another one is on the right side. So right side one would be string dot length minus one that means last character so if first and last are same then we are going to move to the next characters that means we are going to increment i decrement j that means m so in the next iteration again i will be incremented it would come to a and a a and a is same then move on to the next character n n so we have to keep checking for all the characters while i is less than equal to j correct so this is how we need to solve this problem now let's write a solution for it so this is our class that is valid palindrome now let's write a method for it that would be public static boolean why boolean because it needs to return true or false and take the name as is palindrome and it would expect input string and then in the first step what we are going to do we need to convert that string to the lowercase and remove all the non-alphanumeric characters. For that, we can use replace all with the regex. For regex, we can use negation, not characters or numbers. That means it should not be the alphanumeric characters. And we need to replace it with null. Correct? And then in the next step, we are going to take two pointers. One would be the zeroth index and another one would be the last character that is string dot length minus one. And then we are going to write our loop while i less than equals to j. What do we need to check? We need to check whether the first character is equal to the last characters. That means if s dot caret i is not equal to s dot caret j, then we can directly return false. That means it is not a valid palindrome because the characters are not equal. Else we need to increment i and decrement j to move to the next character. Let's close our while loop and then at the end we can return true. Now let's write our main function public static void main string args and then write our print statement and call the function to see the output. 
is palindrome string s let's initialize the string s as the same string given in the question so this is the string we need to check since this string is a palindrome so it should return true let's run the program and see the output so the output is true now let's test it with another example as well race a car it is not a palindrome so it should return false race a car let's run the program and see the output so it is returning false so this is how we need to solve this problem if you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comment section Please don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you for watching